So we're entering the second chorus of his solo. We are in the first A part, that's again G minor. And if you have a look at those eight bars, you can see that he's using two triads a lot. It's the G minor and the A major triad. If you're playing a minor seven chord in a more modal setting, you can think about all the other possibilities that you can use, like not only playing the Dorian scale, you could play the melodic minor scale. Of course, you could also think about using the harmonic minor scale. And here he's just using those two triads to just like dip those eight bars into another mood, into another color, to have something fresh. Already we have the G minor triad here. And then going to the A triad, we can think it's an A major triad, even he doesn't play the E. And the next line I already discussed in another video, check it out right here. The whole line consists of a G minor triad and an A major triad. So let's move on to the last line he's playing in this chorus and it's a very, very rhythmic line. Really, you have to have a guitar that you can still play a D. If you have a guitar where you can't play the uh, D anymore, just play it an octave lower. He's switching between eight notes and quarter note triplets and he's playing a lot of little hammer-ons. And it's really nice to listen very closely to how he is phrasing those two notes. He is alternating between an A and a C sharp. So we can still think he's in that sound of the A major triad and after a while He sort of switches to the G minor triad playing a D up here and a B flat down here. If you listen to Scott Kinn, see how he's comping in the background, they're really like interacting very closely. It's a very cool part of the solo, sort of the climax of the solo. <laughs> we can take away that he's really using the whole range of the fretboard and that he's also splitting up his solo between lines and very rhythmical ideas. And next week we're going to have a look at the next eight bars which are super cool as well. Hope you're doing fine, keep on practicing and see you around. Bye!